This is scary. What we see here is China is starting to build up a bigger nuclear deterrent. The Pentagon warned us back in September that China planned to double the size of its nuclear arsenal. And now we see where some of those new warheads will go in that second missile field. And also these that was national security analyst Dr. Rebecca Grant last night talking about this new satellite image showing China's newest nuclear base, the new base was discovered as the second major missile base found in the last couple of weeks. We're going to show you this. This thing right here is a big tent. It's what you'd think of would go over, say, a tennis court or something in the winter. Turns out that's where they're building the missile silos, and that's where they're building the underground caverns from. These here are the roads, and then this would be the construction site. You can see vehicles lined up and some trailers as well there. The other base was discovered in Yumen. It's a couple of hundred miles away. So we have another map to show you the larger thing, another construction site there. So training area, missile site, missile site, and laser base. We'll get to the laser base in a minute. The two bases here add roughly 230 nuclear missiles to China's growing arsenal of missiles. Joining us now, the man who helped discover these bases, Hans Christensen, director of the Nuclear Information Project at the Federation of American Scientists. We appreciate you being with us, sir. Take us through this Thank process you. of finding a nuclear missile base in the middle of a Chinese desert? Uh, yeah, there are several steps. Uh, one, of course, is to know what you're looking for. And what we have done over the last three years, I think, is sort of uh, you know, hose, honed in on a little training site up in the north uh, eastern part. So we knew what, we to, look, what to look for. Uh, and a month ago, another team found another base uh, near what's called Yumen. Um, in this uh, case, uh, it was my, my colleague, uh, Matt Quarter, who was browsing uh, on the Planet uh, Labs uh, website, their satellite imagery. So, you're, so essentially, you're just and like going through, Google, you're going it. through Google Earth, like one of us would look at a new house or a new street. We have this other image uh, that we yeah. can put up here. This is the image that you guys would have seen. We're going to get that in a minute. But under that little inflatable tent thing that they have there, how deep is the hole? Is there a missile there right now, or do we know? No, we do not know. Uh, we wow. can speculate, uh, obviously, the depth of a, uh, you know, a, a, a ballistic missile, but we really have very little information about what the structure itself is. Um, but we can see some other construction going on in places where they remove this dome over the silo. So you can see some of the outline already from some other site. So gotcha. we are pretty confident that it is a uh, missile silo. Okay, so we, we've got up here this construction facility down here, another construction facility, and then this is the missile silo. Any idea how long they've been working on this? Because you've been looking for it for years. Yes. Uh, so uh, we heard rumors that there were uh, other uh, silo sites uh, around, and, and that's why we found it. But this particular site, this whole grid, the, the construction didn't start until March this year. Okay. So it's very recent. They're still filling it out. And the other large site that was discovered a month ago, construction of that didn't start until February 2020. So this is very recent developments. Hans, you, you study these things, and for a long time, the Chinese had this idea of minimal deterrence. They were going to only be a second strike country, meaning they would never launch a nuclear weapon. As we see these new pictures, it seems as though this is probably proof that they at least want the option to change that and have the ability to strike first. Well, I mean, China has had the ability to strike first if they wanted to for decades. Uh, but this is a new way of deploying large number of missiles. Uh, mm -hmm. So there's no indication yet that China is changing its no first use policy or what it terms its minimum deterrent. But we think at least in the terms of number of weapons, um, this could potentially indicate that they're moving into sort of, instead of a minimum deterrent, maybe a middle deterrent. Yeah, well, the, the Chinese have a history of saying one thing and doing another. When it comes to nuclear weapons, you can't be perhaps too, uh, too careful there. Hans Christensen, uh, incredible work, and the idea that you spent so many hours to find these and bring them to our attention, we really appreciate it. Come, I, I would say come back when you find more missiles. That would be scary, but it would be important as well, sir. Hopefully thank not. you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. There'll probably be more. Keep up the good work.